And wait for rescue. What do you mean? I just don't listen to assassin droids. Clarification. Assassin droid is such a crude term, master. Preserved for Durasteel drones uploaded with only the most archaic kill programs. The function I perform has been referred to as wanton slaughter. What? Wanton slaughter? Indignant answer, master. The miners, after reprogramming the mining droids to mine any organics, then as That's so funny. Answer, as I said, I did not anticipate you awakening from the tank. You are quite a beside. Answer, if you have been... So apparently some client has sent HK, this HK droid to after me to, uh... Answer. No, master. Killing you was never the... Resig so a bunch of floating mines appear like assholes. See, I forgot about this. That's why I... But now I'm gonna get the droid disruptor back. So yeah, I actually have to blow up all the mines before you're allowed to, uh... Kray, I can just go blow it all up. I don't care. Oh no, Atten! Oh, fuck, Kray. Wow, Atten's dead already? This is not going well. Oh my god. I never saw those mines just bum rush us like that before. Yes. Alright, so shoot him. So now he's the HK-50. It's not HK-47. We don't know what happened to HK-50. Apparently- Oh yeah! I forgot! Atten actually has a feat that, no, that you can't- Oh shit! This is new, also. Yeah, he blows himself up like an asshole again. So look, there's that HK vocabulator. Drive self-sustaining. So they're both hurt. Atten has a magical feat that no one else has ever. Uh, that allows him to get back up when knocked down. No one else ever has this. He's the only one. So you can use it. Two mining lasers. Is this one a 1 to 8? Yeah, it is. I don't know why. That, literally only the first one you guys 1 to 7 for no reason whatsoever. Let's level him up. That'll give him full health. And then Kraya can heal us the rest. So I thought I had an extra point for some reason. I just totally zoned out. Give him security. Oh, he has another point. Sweet. Uh, awareness. Awareness and demo go perfectly hand in hand. Because awareness is what you need to pick up mines. Shit, he's got another one? Well, I'm sure I'll be able to level him up again. See, Atten's actually... Atten is basically, like, a rogue version of Karth. He's like the smo... He's, he's more like Han... It's like if you took Han Solo and Karth. Or just Han Solo. You took Han Solo and made Han Solo. Then you'd get Han Solo, a.k.a. Atten Rand. <laughs> So she's got some good healing skills, so... Stab yourself. Oh. There you go. Say the word. See, I told you you can have them heal each other. So now I want to equip the heavy mining laser. Whoops, didn't mean to turn around. So let's head on to the ship. Wow, I love this new concept art thing. Something is wrong. I sense no one on board. You sense no one on board? Sense any assassin droids creeping up behind us like last time? <laughs> Everyone here has been slain. Yet there are few signs of battle. No carbon. Then what are we doing on this ship? You two are supposed to be Jedi? You two are the worst Jedi I've ever met. Fuck you, Rat Atten! Oh, if the assassin machine was correct. Look. I don't mean to cast another shadow on. You'll need the orbital drift charts to clear the. P well, of course they have their. Well, we'd have to get to the bridge. I mean, well, that's the biggest problem I can see. That is a sound. Our enemy. See, so, so this game introduces a new influence thing, so that when you do things that party members like or say things that they like, you gain influence over them. That influence allows you to do things later on. So, uh, this is the bridge. Luckily, we're right next to the fucking bridge. So then we go to the Navicomp. Reroute it, because I can't slice it. Download the drift charts. 
So there's all these other things you can do. It's, see, I, I just can't take the time to go through all these fucking logs. There's just a million of them. Later on in the game I can, but on Paragus, they just overload you with shit to look at. And it gets old real quick. So you go to this door and open it. Oh my god, Sith Assassins! So yeah, the Sith are sending assassins after us who are invisible and use fucking quarter staffs for some reason. Come on, hit him. Thanks for Atten. Atten is a total badass. See, see what I mean? He's like Karth. He's got dual blaster pistols and everything. This blast door is locked. Whenever it says blast door, it's magnetically sealed. Magnetically sealed. Notice how the design of this ship is kind of different from the, uh... From the Endar Spire from the first game. And everything's, like, just a little different. Scout Enforcer. I think that's upgradable, unlike the mining lasers. But I'm not going to give it to Atten yet, because I can't actually upgrade it. One thing I always do is, if I go pistols in this game, is I build a, uh... You can build a... Like, a scout pistol. Oh, yeah. Sometimes you can't target them right away, which sucks. They're kind of a bitch to hit, which really is annoying. See, I'm not super overpowered anymore. There you go. Oh, yeah. There's another group. I don't even care. Power blast for no reason. They'll probably be dead by the time I fire. Well, I shot anyway, and I missed. Wow. What an asshole. Republic credits. So yeah, you can't use any escape pods. They've been locked, of course. And of course, there's no way to unlock them. I mean, why would you ever unlock them? It doesn't make any sense. Why would you ever unlock it? I don't know. Uh, I don't quite understand, but yeah, I notice how this layout is different. The bridge is the same exact layout, but that hallway back there was different. This is different. It's actually completely different from the Endar Spire, so... I like how it ends like, getting the bridge might be tough. You literally just turn right and go through the fucking door. So now we've gotten the nav charts, or we've gotten the code for the nav charts. Go through. I don't remember this heavy mining laser existing. Maybe it's a, maybe it's a rest restored thing. Oh yeah, there's more assassins for assholes. Oh, nice shot, me. Fucking kill him. Fucking killing it. The only thing Atten does different from Karth is he uses critical shot instead of a uh, power attack. So there's all these fucking... Uh, there's a million more logs that you can look at. It's crazy. Although, actually, I do want to watch one of them. Uh, let's see. You have permission to divert course, Captain. Look who it is! Sith presence in the region. I want you to investigate. The ID signature on the freighter. Did you get confirmation on it? Yes, sir. We did not have the vessel listed in our data banks, so we transmitted the code. There was, Captain. If you find any trace of that vessel, even wreckage, I want it. Yes, sir. After you've investigated the sector, resume course to... Yes, sir. Good hunting. <sighs> Sometimes... Query. You... Yes, I... Stay... As all... That was Admiral Cartho Nassi! And that cutscene changes depending on how you play the first game. It's those, it's those kind of hooks that are so awesome. It's some random other guy if you play the first game differently. Um, but yeah, so... Basically, this ship found the Ebon Hawk adrift, unrelated- So, I was a passenger on here, headed to Telos for some reason. With the- the Harbinger found me- or the, uh... Yeah, this is the Harbinger, by the way. This is the ship I came in on, if you didn't- if you- that I was- I had supposedly been on before. So, the Harbinger was taking me to Telos. They found what looked like a battle, and the Ebon Hawk was a- was there. And, uh... So, yeah... Apparently, Karth is very interested in the Ebon Hawk, which makes a lot of sense, because you find out later more about, like, what happened to Revan and shit after this. Which actually has a lot to do with, uh, the book Revan, as well as the, uh, the Old Republic MMO, which I will not be doing a Let's Play of new. No, 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 no. So now we're going into the engine room. That's really cool. Wow, that's awesome. If only, the, if only that spot looked so good in the game. <laughs> it doesn't, trust me. You'll see what it is. So this is actually like the living quarters of the ship. Which is not somewhere you were in the first game on the ship, so it kind of is allowed to look different. Each one of these each one of these is living quarters, so what you do is you go over here and you get that out of the fucking way, and then you walk over here, and then all of a sudden... What? 
I don't know why that didn't work. These are my quarters. I don't know why this is skipping all of a sudden. Sometimes both games do this. So you go over here, you open the door. So you have uh, an armband and someone asking me to report to the medical bay. For some reason I have an armband that gives t constitution plus one from the Mandalorian Wars. Yes, yeah, supposedly. So apparently I was in the Mandalorian Wars and my skill is too low. So let's try using a s tunneler. Fuck you, I opened it. Probably not even worth it. Nope, 85 credits. Totally not worth it. I'm sure, I'm sure a security spike is worth more than 85 credits. So, guess what's in this room? If you said a Sith Assassins, then you were absolutely correct, unfortunately. Okay, let's blast them. Blast them! Where are you going? Just shoot. You can shoot over the fucking table, you know, dumbass. Oh, I leveled up. Excellent. Let's level... Feats, 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 feats. Duel! Two weapon fighting, two weapon fighting, two weapon fighting. Heal. Must have heal. Heal is so good, it's fucking awesome. I'm going over here just because this is a dead end. You can't open the blast door, there's only 50 credits. The blast door doesn't work. Kreia is dumbass. She got stuck on the Sith Assassins that are killing us. Kinda like how they only appear if you hit them. It's kinda cool. Kinda cool. Kinda cool. Kinda neat. Kinda nifty. Kinda cool. Point of cure. Yeah, those assassins never drop anything. Don't even bother waiting. Seriously, they never do. So there's the medical bay. We gotta go through there, but we're gonna go over here first because this is another dead end. All the blast doors on this level are locked down, so you see that it's locked, but I... Oh, good, I didn't... Nah, fuck it. Kreia! Oh my god, you dumb bitch. Ugh, oh, you're so stupid. Oops, didn't mean to do that. Alright, so you loot the guy, and then the assassins appear. It's just a dick move. Where Kreia ends up, I don't know, but she just seems to vanish at will. Fucking kill him! Alright, so let's get the fuck out of here. So, here we are in the medical bay. There's my culto tank, which you can heal in. Alright, so, check treatment requests. So apparently, during my last exam, I got a giant, uh, dose of sedatives for some reason. <gasps> You can identify your culto tank, which is so pointless. It literally just points at it. So this is kind of cool. Oh, come on! What is... Hold on. Hopefully I fixed it. Sometimes you just have to reset it to make it work. I don't know why. There we go. This is what I wanted anyway. So look at the, the crazy guy we saw before. Blurp. What? See, you don't think it's ominous how the culto in his tank is turning black? Oh my god. So then... He certainly jerks, and then, ah, and then the culto drains, and then, BAM! That actually seems pretty badass, doesn't he? So apparently they picked this guy up from wreckage near where the Ebon Hawk was. So then he broke through this culto tank. Look, didn't that look pretty cool? Although it looked pretty stupid with that glowing black, and no one thought that was weird. Reactivate the droid. Now it'll heal, heal us. It'll follow us around for 30 seconds and heal us. It's kind of useless. Ugh. Alright, so yeah. It literally just follows us around on this floor. It's the dumbest thing ever. But whatever. Why not? Because we're going to run into more assassins. Oh, look. There they are. Oh, look. Fucking... Don't talk to Kreia. Fucking don't talk to anyone. Just kill him. And I actually just realized something on the mini map. That is cool. Oh my god! So the droid just floats around like a jackass. Oh yeah, you're really helping out, asshole. Fuck you. 
So apparently since we're the only living people who aren't targeted as Sith, apparently, it knows who they are. Imagine if there was a droid that you, like, healed it, and then it started fighting for the enemy because it thought I it identified... See, so yeah, I just opened the armory, which is awesome. And it, like, identified you as the enemy. That's would be pretty hysterical. Blaster car... Repeating blaster carbine. Unupgradable, but it might be more powerful than this. Ion rifle. Yeah, I have a Verpine ion disruptor, so I don't really need you. Power pulsator. That's always helpful. So how good is the repeating blaster carbine? 2 to 16, 2 to 12. This is better. Even if you do carry it, kind of weird looking. So there's the uh, turbo lift to the fuel area. Since we're gonna, since we're, our plan is to walk down the fuel pipe to get to the other side where T3 was, uh, eventually. So let's hack open the door. You do. There's a million enemy sighted things. Now, while I fight, I'm gonna tell you. So apparently, so according to the captain of uh, the Harbinger, on um, one of the. Uh, things you can watch on one of the clips he talks about how their mining droid just how their mining droid how their protocol droid just stopped working at some point we don't know why it stopped working but it did and then you come over here and in a second let's try to do the skill roundup You come over here, go back to me, and then you go to this... Hey, there's their protocol droid. What's wrong with it? It appears to have been purposely sabotaged, but no one knew that. A repeating blaster rifle. I don't know whether this is a gift or a curse. Accidentally activated a frag mine. Whatever. I like how we just walk in and we're like, yeah, that was sabotaged. And everyone's like, what? We thought it just accidentally... The, yeah, a fucking protocol droid is smart enough to accidentally activate a landmine. <laughs> Actually, I should say dumb enough. Yeah, that makes more sense. This fucking thing is stupid enough to do that? Yeah, I doubt that. Well, that's really cool. Man, I like these loading screens. They're really cool. I have a bad feeling about this. Oh my god, would you stop saying that? Thank you, me! I can't help it. Don't you feel it? Something's gonna get... I don't remember being able to say that. You don't survive... All right, trust me. Oh, fuck! I lost influence of that and fuck! 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 So conveniently all those doors are blocked off, so you run over here. You want a free weapon? You guys want to know a trick? Unequip Kraya's weapon right now. Get a free sword. It's kind of pointless, but fuck it. Need every little trick. So you run over here. Walk down the cunting hallway. Adam looks like a badass. Look at that jacket. It looks kind of silly, but it's also kind of badass. Turn around. Oh, fuck. There's... There's... There's, uh... I don't even know how to, what to call him as a joke. He looks fucking creepy, though, doesn't he? I have come for the Jedi. That's a new line. Never said anything before. God, this is this cool. This battle is mine alone. I am not defenseless. Whatever that means. I am not defenseless. Whatever, Kraya. So yeah. He kill what he cannot see, and power has blinded him long ago. Run! I shall be along shortly. Notice her eyes are white. It's kind of freaky. Chick, boom. Whatever, Kraya. Go have fun dying. <laughs> she doesn't die. But yeah, so that's a trick. Just unequip her weapon. You'll get that sword back. I don't care if I'm spoiling that she lives. I mean, it's kind of obvious that she lives. I think it's kind of obvious, at least. I mean, maybe you guys are like, Why she lives? I never would have assumed such a thing. And I'm just like, Bitch, please, you live. Bitch, please. Bitch. Are you a fucking bitch? Always reroute. You get a lot more parts. Open the maintenance door to the ion engines. Yay! I thought there were more... Uh, crates you could open there. Oh yeah, I think not yet. In a minute, let's go to the workbench. I want to create that. I want to upgrade that repeating blaster rifle if I can. All right, all right, all right, all right, all right, all right. All right. What can I create? Ta -ta -ta -ta. Create. Ta -ta -ta. Well, I'd love to create a bio restorative underlay. That's pretty cool. Let's create some of that shit. So I need overlays now. Blade of plating. It's good, but I don't like the dex loss. 
But I don't have a choice. Actually, I can't even... I can't use any overlays because I don't have enough skills in anything. Atten probably could, but his... There's nothing good yet, so it's not worth it. I already have a power pulsator, which is better than the Ryleth that I can build. Uh, what about a chamber? Massive crits? Why would you ever get this and not this? Oh, attack modifier? I like attack modifier. That's really helpful when your skills are low because it makes it easier to hit shit. Can't build any scopes. Atten's gonna build me a scope. Build me a scope, bitch. Yo, bitch, get over here. Yeah, everyone's sk it's, it's kind of annoying. Everyone has their own skills here. See, accuracy, pinpoint scope. Keen is actually really good. I remember for the longest time I thought accuracy was the best. It's not. Uh, stun is slightly better. Pinpoint's better. Pinpoint's really good. Oh, God, I gotta get the workbench fixed. I really need to. Repeating blaster rifle. Pinpoint. Precision. Power pulsator. Symbol. I have battle armor? What? Latin can't wear it, neither can I. Should be better now. Uh, it stuns and has good crit range, so it's worth it. Plus it looks cooler. I don't like that stupid giant mining laser. This looks cooler. Until I can get super awesome rifles. There are some badass rifles. If I can get a Sharik in this playthrough... Fuck, that thing is so good. Oh my god, it's like the best disruptor rifle in the galaxy, and you can fucking upgrade the shit out of it. Oh, it's so good. So you run over here, and then you get a cutscene in a sec. So this is the insides of a Republic engine. It's kind of cool looking. Thank God there's still the same tiling on the floor. <laughs> Wouldn't want to live without that. So you come over here and now... Cutscene... Oh wait, no, it's in a second. I gotta do this first. So you activate the engine maintenance. I like how there's a little rotating part in there. It's really cool. So you go through that door and then you get a cutscene. We gotta find out what happened with Kraya, right? So let's have a cutscene. Tell me you're joking. We are not going to cross back into the Paragas facility through the fuel line. That's crazy. Well, that's why we're going to do it. All right. Cutscene! I sent you my master. Faith. Master? Weak. Your senses betray you, as you betrayed me. Oh, fuck! After all this happened, still you live. You are difficult to kill. For one as limited as you, perhaps. To have fallen so far and learned nothing. That, is your that camera movement the seems good. is yours. No longer do your whispers crawl within my skull. No longer do I suffer beneath teachings that weaken us. And now you run in search of the Jedi. They are all dead, save one. And one broken Jedi cannot stop the darkness that is to come. Perhaps we shall see. Kraya's arm's gone. Yeah, good job, Kraya. Fucking wonderful move. What's wrong? Are you all right? So I grabbed my arm and then I started Damn grabbing it, my head. Hold on, it's only a little farther. Don't give up on me now. Have lost my mind. My hand felt like I was being dipped in. Huh? Look, if she's in pain, then that especially sleeps with vibro blades. What a great name, Atten. Should have let that play. So now we just teleport into Das Fuelden Depot. Oh, look who it is! Although he's supposed to be disabled. Droid. Looks like it's been hit with an ion charge. Ran to the protocol. Can you travel T3? Let's go. We got T3! We got T3! Because T3 is so cool. Concealed stash. Hangar 25. Control conduit. Brilliant move there, HK. HK50 thought it was a good idea to put T3... And the control conduit for the hangar access in the same place. He's really smart. I think he's a brilliant guy. He's a he's a really smart guy. I don't know if you guys know this, but but HK50, he's he's really smart. He's a really smart. He is a really smart guy. Got guys. Don't be mean. He's a smart guy. He's an assassin droid who's supposed to be brilliant at assassinations. He should know. What he, he knows what he's doing. Deliberately tossed here. This control circuit looks important. I wonder why it looks important. Oh yeah, I can go back to using this for a little... Good thing I fucking upgraded the wrong gun. <laughs> Whatever. I'll need that again in a few minutes. But for right now, I'm actually fighting droids again. Well, actually not in a few minutes. Probably not even in this recording session, because I'm about to finish Paragus. I'm almost there. 
See, I have the control conduit to get into the fucking the fucking hangar bay. I blew that up and hurt myself. Oh my god, die! Die! Where oh, that came from? So he's dead. So you just go through and slaughter and droid some more. Fucking kill him. I don't need I don't need any remains, they're just shitty grenades. Yowed him. So then this shit opens. Just blow it up, I don't even care. The maintenance is going to heal him. So one thing you gotta make sure of, which I'll show you in a minute. Oh that shit. Thanks for blowing up on top of my party, dickwad. What an asshole. Wow, it's an Ayu Sword. Oh my god. You guys want to shoot him? So, you remember that can, that shield up there? That shield tells you, it's like, oh, cannot be shut down until the mines are all gone. Well, there's a third mine here. Make sure you walk under here and, and run over it. Don't even think about disabling it or recovering it. You have to fucking deactivate it. Or you have to run over it and hurt yourself. It's, re it's prerequisite, actually. Seriously, I'm not even kidding. I'm not kidding! Don't- I'm not kidding! It's kind of cool that you- it's- See, I like that you can use the medic, but it's also kind of annoying that you always have to click on yourself when you just want to heal. But then again, you probably have one guy who's going to do all the healing, so it's actually okay to stay on him and just heal, 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 heal. So now the emergency field station shut down, no custom charge is detected, so then it shuts off. So close to being done, Paragus. So close. Two minutes. Actually, more like five. Five. Five minutes. There's a lot of mining droids that came out of nowhere. It's kind of annoying. Hey, boy! Level up for me and T3. We're leveling up me and T3. Time to even the odds, that's Adam's line. Time to even the odds. Time to even the odds, guys! <laughs> I don't know why I'm making such an annoying noise. <laughs> Forgot I can level up. Um, I don't know what to get. I do not know what to get. Mm. I usually get improved rapid shot. This increases your, uh... Basically, when you're not in combat, you regenerate everything. This lets you regenerate faster. This is actually kind of good. Precise shot really is a good feat set. Rapid shot. I'm gonna get armor at some point, but rapid shot is just too good. What, it, ra basic rapid shot sucks. You get to improved and then master, it just gets way better. So that's what I'm banking on. Literally, I have bank on it. I has bank saying that that's it. Oh look, more mining droid mark two. And oh look, there's an excavator droid mark two who has a slightly different color. What am I doing? I have improved rapid shot for a reason, asshole. There we go, spit that eye on fire at these asshole droids. Look at that. Bam. Fucking kill them. Bam. So good, so good, so good, so good. Notice how the music just cut? That was pretty annoying. So that and runs over to the door. This door's mag. Huh? All right. All right. So apparently, I served with astromech droid a lot of astromech droids a long time ago. So I understand T3. And he says he can repair it. Now I don't know if you actually have to take command of, e of T3, but you do. So, but I, I, I'm, I'm so when I say you do, I mean I'm saying I take command of him all the time. So all you do is replace the thing, come over here, kill more mining droid Mark IIs, and I'm basically done with Paragus. Oh god, my foot's fucking itchy. Ah, oh, fuck. Ah, oh, fuck. You know that feeling when, like, the ball of your foot just gets itchy as hell and you can't get rid of it? God, it's annoying. Alright, so two more droids, and then I think there's one... Oh, okay, never mind, there's a couple more droids. Ugh, oh, fucking assholes. At least I can obliterate the Mark 1s. 
with the fucking rap improved rapid shot. Everyone down! Everyone down! That was Atten again. Remember how? Some good stuff. Oh, just a grip. Wow. Okay. Where the fuck is this retard going? Oh man, I thought he'd run back to where like we came into the level and I wouldn't have to fight him. There's the the one and only fire suppression droid mark two, and I'm actually gonna die. Yep. I hear you. I like how there's an improved rapid shot too there. It's kind of funny. What's that gonna do now? Ah, oh, he used basic rapid shot. That's funny though. That's a weird glitch. I don't know how that happened. Oh my god, they don't die. Ugh, fucking die. Oh my god, he used a repair kit. Okay, T3. First of all, you need to move. Second of all, you need to repair yourself. Uh, of course. Oh, come! You cunting bitch. Ah! Uh, why? See, look at. Wow, that's actually cool. I never saw T3 as carbonite freezing like that. Fucking. There you go. The ion striker is great. Get up, lazy fuck. God, my guy's a lazy fuck. Now, any any uh, human or well, not human, biological member of your party can use repair kits and uh, and like treat injury stuff, like med packs and shit. Uh, droids can only use repair kits, they, which makes sense. I mean, obviously, but I'm just saying. Oh my fucking god! I can't this. Is just, never mind. Not a big deal. Doesn't matter why I said. Oh fuck. See, T3, T3 is always good for getting rid of mines, because I swear to God, his animation is way faster. I don't have any evidence, but it just seems like when T3 does a mine, it's way faster than a person doing it. And he'll just be like, he'll just go down and be like, and then done. Dash plating. What? Please don't kill me. No. Fuck. See, that's what happens. Okay, fuck this. You get experience. I don't care enough. I'm gonna die. Oh, elevator dro excavator droid mark two. Wait, isn't he supposed to be fire suppression mark two? It's kind of wrong. Shoot him! Why was my guy not shooting? What an asshole. Do I have anything better? No, I just have med kits. Oh, come on. Come on! There we go. Ugh, more mines. Fuck it, I'll get him. Just because you get experience for it. 